Master Tanaka is under fire from his daughter, Midori. I don't know what he's done, but it must have been pretty bad. The arrows that she's pumping at Dad are traditionally made of bamboo, steel-tipped. At this range, they can easily pass through a human arm. For both of them, this is a test of focus and bottle, not being freaked out by the possibility of injury. But most of all, it's a demo of incredible sword skill. For Master Tanaka, his sword is an extension of his body. Oh, that would hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This. Wow! <laughs> you don't want oh, you don't that in the eye. Yes, yes, that. yes, yes. Look at that. That's where one of the arrows just grazed him. Yeah. These Japanese swords are razor sharp. They're fantastic weapons to use. They're so well balanced. Just to hold them, it feels really nice. To walk with them on your side makes you walk like John Wayne. These are the cutters that you get to practice before chopping the straw dummies. In the old days, there wouldn't be straw dummies, there'd be prisoners. If they couldn't find any prisoners, they'd use dead bodies. It's about getting it habitually into your body, those movements. When perfecting the cut on these, they'll cut sideways, so they'll, on a person, it'd chop straight from the neck, straight through the body, down and out. Master Tanaka, off with his head, look at that look in his eyes. Yeah. You're dead. Oh, perfect cut, yeah? You wouldn't feel a thing, would you? Now they're wiping off the sword. So in old days, they'd be cleaning it of blood. Midori Tanaka is pretty handy with the silverware, too, as you'd expect from the next leader of this dynasty. Fantastic. My father is the head of a school, and I am the successor, so I have a place in this heritage. There are few women in this position taking on this role in Japan. For a woman, this is a rare and invaluable existence. This is a responsibility that I feel. The relationship between a sword master and their sword is worthy of a Jerry Springer special. My sword and I are inseparable. It moves as I want it to. If my own spirit becomes weak, it will not cut, not even if I want it to. By always using the same sword, the grip forms to the shape of your hand. If I ask someone to lend me their sword, it has a completely alien feeling. It feels as though the owner's soul is in the sword. You and your sword are one. But the sensual curves of the Japanese sword have found their... A sword can be, for example, stylish, glamorous or slim. The tip is the human face. The surface is the skin. The pattern displays the heart. These are the characteristics of the sword. There's an ancient Japanese saying which goes, the perfect sword strike is like making love to a beautiful woman. I'll have a go. OK. Is it this way? Yeah, straight through, yeah? OK, so... Yeah, I'm drawing the sword up. <laughs> That's all right, isn't it? That's a lot harder than you think, actually. You think it would cut through, but you have to put a lot of force. Once you change my career now, become a head chopper. Nice one. Arigato. Master Tanaka's extreme confidence with the big blades verges on the foolhardy. He's going to take the ultimate walk on the wild side by attempting to disarm a chap with a live sword using only his hands. Okay, so this is a rehearsal for the live move. That's a live sword. They are razor sharp. Yeah. Look at that. He's just taking it off him. He's going to do it at full speed in a minute. This is probably one of the most dangerous sword skills. Yeah. That guy there represents that guy there. Yeah. So what he does, he takes the sword off the bloke. He's barehanded. Yeah. Takes the sword off him, and off with his head. 
Master Tanaka is the only soke in Japan brave enough to attempt this stunt. Any mistakes and he loses his pinkies. And even he doesn't make a habit of it. This will be only his fifth attempt in the last 40 years. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. 